Hi, everyone. My name is Manton. Today, I want to show you a little bit about bookmarks in micro.blog. We've been adding to this over the years, and I feel like it's really starting to come together, and I want to show how that works. Of course, like a lot of social networks, you can just bookmark a post to keep track of it later. But micro.blog adds bookmarking for any web page. So you can read it more like a read later service, or you can mark things as bookmarks to blog about them later. Uh, you can tag things. This is for micro.blog premium. I can just click here. I can say, you know, like, this is about podcasts. Then I can filter them later. Uh, there's a special uh, reader mode. So it downloads the text for the page and I can kind of go through and um, say, you know, maybe I want to highlight this, highlight it. Uh, it shows up here. I, mean, I can go back to my list actually and just say highlights. These are the highlights I've made recently. And maybe I want to start a blog post, hit new post, makes the markdown link, block quote. Uh, really easy just to get something highlighted that you want to blog about later and add some of your own commentary or notes or turn it into a full blog post. Um, so that's the general idea with bookmarks. Um, but how do you get them into micro.blog? Uh, of course, you can just bookmark something on micro.blog. You can add a URL here, or you can use our bookmarklet or browser extension. So we have new extensions for Firefox and Chrome. Uh, I'm in Firefox right now. If you click on this little button, you can see uh, these options to link right out to them, or you can search the uh, Firefox add-ons and Chrome directories. Um, but I have it in here in micro.blog, so I'm going to click over to a new tab. This is an article about the Fediverse from The Verge today, and I want to bookmark that. So click the little button. It just says, are you sure? Save the bookmark for this. I'm going to say, yes, I do want to save that. It'll save it off to micro.blog and then close it. Great. If I go back to micro.blog, uh, I can see that it's there. Micro.blog in the background is archiving this. If I want to add a tag, activity pub, you know, whatever. That's great. Um, in addition to archiving the text, so you can get back to it later, micro.blog also now, uh, behind the scenes, summarizes the web pages using the OpenAI API. This is kind of hidden by default. A lot of people maybe don't necessarily want um, AI mixed in with their workflows. But if you want to see it and you have micro.blog, blog premium, you can click on this little thing again, say show summaries, and it'll really reload, reload the page. Nothing here yet because it's still downloading the Verge article. But here I can see this little robot icon and just a quick summary of whatever was bookmarked. And I've been using this now um, for about a week, and I've found, I wasn't sure, to be honest, if this would be a good feature, but I found it really useful, especially if you're saving a bookmark for a bunch of sites throughout the day you haven't had a chance to read, and then you just kind of want a quick glance at what it's about. Uh, it's usually, it's not perfect, but it's usually pretty accurate and sometimes better than the actual web page title. So, of course, you can hide it, but that's the general... Uh, place that bookmarks are now. Um, we'll do more, but the workflow for saving things, reading them later, blogging about them, remembering, tagging, it's all pretty much there now. And um, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks for using micro.blog.